We're now coming to the moment, the last moments of Apollo 13, as it comes in, as it begins its re-entry. The best thing we can do now is just to listen and hope. The last few seconds down to re-entry. At this point, there's very little anybody can do, including the astronauts, except wait as they come in through the up uppermost fringes of the Earth's atmosphere. The computers put them on course. All anybody can do now is cross their fingers. Houston, uh, we've just had loss of signal uh, from uh, Honeysuckle. And they are coming in faster than predicted. They're coming in just about as fast as any spacecraft has returned from space before. The last few seconds now to re-entry, and they've lost them on the main radio contact antenna in Australia at Honeysuckle Creek. Just about now, they should be going through the moment of maximum heat. And we'll only know whether or not that heat shield was damaged by the explosion three days ago when they come out of radio blackout in just over two minutes. About 30 seconds to go to the end of radio blackout About now. 30 seconds to go uh, for blackout. Less than 10 seconds now, uh, we will attempt to uh, contact Apollo 13 uh, through one of the Araya aircraft. Continuing to monitor this Apollo Control Houston. drogue deployment that he's talking about is the point at which the very small parachutes come out that then drag up the main parachutes. They have been seen before those drogue parachutes come out on previous missions, but today all we can be certain of is that everybody's watching for those small red and white parachutes to come out to signal the final safety stage of this flight. The main parachutes. Let's not anticipate. But the heat shield obviously worked. Should see something any time now. Odyssey Houston, uh, standing by for your uh, noun 67. Uh, when you get it, over. Shoot, should be out. A report of uh, two good drogues coming up now for main shoots.
standing by for confirmation of uh, main chutes. There they are. There they are. There they are. They've made it. Yeah. All three shoots out. Uh, Listen to the crowd on the boat. Yeah, the main. It really looks great. An extremely loud applause here in Mission Control. Control. Extremely loud applause as Apollo 13 on uh, main shoots comes through loud and clear on the television display here. Venting. Yes, venting the last of the fuel there. You saw that smoke go up? Uh, we have a report uh, from the Iwo Jima that Apollo 13 uh, at a distance of four miles from the ship. Four oh, miles. Uh, the smoke you see is uh, venting of RCS uh, propellants, uh, reaction control system propellants. And they're in, they're in, and I make it no more, no more than five seconds late. No, no, more than five seconds late. We had splashed out. Well, the one splashed out at this time, the you know, first two shots just splashed her in the water. Three and a half miles from Iwo Jima. This one that took the command module is a stable one at this time. So riding comfortably. And they've landed the right way up. Helicopter going in there to drop a flare for the wind direction for the other helicopters. Look at the heat scarring on the side of that module. I think this picture you're seeing must be for the first time the picture from the television camera in one of the recovery helicopters. This is photo one, the Mylar covering on the exterior of the command module the area opposite the two axis hats. From the deep. Uh, sea is approximately one to two feet. Helicopter there reporting one to two foot waves and a swell going from three to five feet. Four one, Roger, break the ball 13. The crew there saying they're in very good shape. The retrieval operation beginning there in one, less than one minute from now. Swim helicopter wind going into its first position to drop the swimmers. Here goes the first swimmer to put in the sea anchor. Attaches the sea anchor to prevent the module drifting too far. These pictures you're seeing come from the television camera on board one of the helicopters hovering over the command module at this time. Out you see there, the crew confirming that they dumped all of their fuel successfully. Here comes the first helicopter with the first swimmer. And there he goes. Swimming towards the command module. Carrying the sea anchor.